Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Motorola Moto E. Now, I'm very excited to get my hands on this product because here at Clove, we generally deal with the very latest high-end phones, but the Motorola Moto E stands out because it's a bit of a budget handset. And when I mean a budget handset, it comes in at £99, including VAT, SIM-free and unlocked, so you can use any SIM card uh, from any network provider in this phone. But it actually has quite a good specification for that price and it's based on the Motorola Moto G that has been really well received in the market over the last few months. So the Moto E is based on that just with slightly toned down specifications to allow it to come in at a slightly more competitive price. So here is the uh, full retail packaging and we'll see here that we've got the Moto E and when you buy it from Clove you get the XT1021. So We'll see also here that it's got the GSM frequencies, so it's quad band, and then we've got quad band 3G as well. And you'll also see here that you've got BLK for black and 4GB. It's got four gigabytes of internal storage on this handset. So nice little compact box. So let's open it up and show you what you get. So here is the Moto E itself, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, the rest of the box is fairly limited in its contents. So we've got a standard USB cable with micro USB connection at the other. Now, interestingly, this is a white USB cable and the phone is actually black in color. Then we've just got some documentation here. So a quick start guide and then sort of the warranty information regarding this device. And that's it. Now Motorola have taken the stance not to include a mains adapter with this or any headphones, primarily because most people have a set of headphones that they really like to use. And mains adapters, well, you generally have one from your uh, other handsets from the past, or if not, they can be picked up fairly easily. Now the phone uses a micro USB connector as you can see on the bottom of the handset here. And at this angle, you can see there's a slight curvature to the phone. So it's actually thicker in the middle part of the phone than it is on the edges. If we take a look down the left side, it's completely flush, nothing to speak of here. On the top, we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then we've also got a microphone there as well. On the right side of the device, we've got the power button at the top here, and then we've got the volume up and down keys. On the front, we obviously have the star of the show, which is the 4.3 inch display. Now, this is a QHD LCD display, so 540 by 960, and it has a PPI of 256, so it's quite a good display on this uh, device. You've got the speaker up the top here, and then we've got this nice little uh, design detail down here at the bottom. If we turn it over to the back, here we have a smooth, back cover we got the Motorola logo sort of in this little dimple there little circle dimple dimple it's all smooth to the touch and then we've got the rear camera which is five megapixels you'll notice there's no uh, flash on this so that's perhaps one of the negatives but it still takes pretty good shots uh, even without that now we'll have a full review uh, on the device and how it compares in low light and everything uh, soon but this is just our unboxing and initial hands-on now we can pull off the back cover on this device and built in here we have the battery. It's a fixed internal battery and it's 1980 milliamp hours. And then on the side here, we've got the micro SD memory card slot and the micro SIM card slot. So this is where you put your SIM card in and that's where you put your micro SD card to actually expand the memory that's available. So although you've got four gig uh, internal memory, you can expand it with the micro SD card. So another thing to note is because the back cover is removable, you can actually change the back covers. As available accessories, you get a range of different colored cases or shells as they call them to replace this black one here. So you can have them in a variety of colors to sort of allow you to personalize your device. There's also uh, thicker grip shells that offer more protection. So here we are at the home screen. We have already set this device up. And you'll see, if you're familiar with Android, we've got a fairly standard experience. Because uh, Motorola work very closely uh, with Google because of their uh, ownership, you'll uh, see that this is pretty much stock with only a few little tweaks here from Motorola. So you've got the Motorola Assistant, 
you've got uh, Motorola Migrate, which assists you in getting your content from your old phone to the new one. And then you've obviously got some uh, of the Google suites of services. So YouTube, you've got the Play Store, you've got Play Books, Play Newsstand, Music, Chrome Browser. There's an FM radio built in here. You've got Maps, you've got Messaging. So let's go into the messaging. So you can start off a new message here, type away on screen. Now this device orientates uh, in portrait and landscape mode so you can get sort of a comfortable position for yourself. Now being Android, there's loads of ways to actually personalize this, but press and hold on the home screen and you've got the different wallpapers that you can have, be it live wallpapers or pre-installed wallpapers. And you can just personalize it in a way that kind of suits your style. And obviously you can add to that with the cases and the back covers that are available. You'll see we've got access to the Google Play Store. So if you've got a Google account set up on here, you can download all your favorite apps from Facebook to Twitter to other games uh, that you might like to put on your device. You can group things in folders here. So you can actually see that we've actually got a folder already created with Google services in. So this allows you to sort of manage your home screens, uh, tidy things up, make it look a little bit neater. Of course, this is a phone. So you've got your dialer here and you can make your calls. As this is a SIM free unlocked handset, put any SIM and it'll work all around the world. You've got the camera. So you've got video recording here. You just press that button once and you begin recording video straight away. You can pause it and you can do whatever you want, change the scene and just resume and it records uh, as a continuous piece of video. You can stop it there. You've got the camera and all you need to do is literally touch the screen. There's no dedicated camera shutter button. And then what we can do, we can quick access the gallery from swiping to the right here. And we can see the pictures that we have taken. So it's just a few we've taken here in the Clove offices. And then we can also swipe from the left and we get a variety of little options here. So HDR, the uh, control exposure, whether we've got panorama on or off, whether we've got the geotag facility switched on or off, where it's storing the photos to. Now we haven't got a memory card in here, so the SD card slot isn't working. A little help up here to sort of get you started. You'll notice that when you first start the device up, there's some helpful uh, tutorials. Press and hold on here and you get your running app so you can quickly switch between certain things on the phone or indeed close certain things like the camera and the phone, for example, there. Let's just go into the settings. You can see about the phone. So it's the Motorola Moto E running Android version 4.4.2. You've got a whole variety uh, of options, including your language on here that you can personalize. So if English isn't your primary language, you can change that. You can change the keyboard languages. In terms of storage, so there's 2.17 gig available out of the box, but a few pictures and stuff we've got in here means we've got 1.97 gig uh, available. Up here, we've got data usage. So this is a 3G enabled handset, so you can monitor how much data you've got on here. And that's useful if you've got a limit on your contract or pay as you go tariff. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so you've got all the connectivity options that you want there. And of course, you can add to this, as I say, with the apps. You've got your browser, your Google Drive. So it's geared towards an online experience because of the connectivity options here that you've got. It's an exceptional little handset. We'll be coming back to you uh, very soon with a full review on youtube.com forward slash clove technology and blog.clove.co.uk. But this little handset retails for £99, including VAT. It's got a dual core uh, processor in here, so it's going to be fairly snappy. You've got uh, the five megapixel camera on the back. You've got one gig of RAM. You've got the four gig internal memory, 4.3 inch display with 256 PPI. You've got Corning Gorilla Glass on here, so it means it's sort of uh, more scratch resistant. And you've also got a uh, splash proof coating on here. So should you uh, spill water, tea, coffee on here, the device will likely survive. It's not designed to be submerged in water, but you can go out and use it in the rain quite happily. I don't advocate you know, standing there and getting the thing drenched, but it should live up to the normal everyday lifestyle that you or I may lead and use this handset. So be sure to check this out at clove.co.uk. Till next time, thanks for watching.